Right. Guys to have the head. I was about to start craziness. All right. Ready to go. What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And today I have uh Low End Lobsters wonderfully modified P10. Uh there's a few little changes to this bad boy to make it just but I'm getting to that in just a little bit. So kick that intro. First off the bat, the original P10 is just a looker. It has the roasted maple neck, rounded edges. There's like little details in the striping on the side of the base. Man, it just it just looks the part. But Lobster took it to the next level and uh, made a few changes that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so with the electronics, we have a I want to say it's a J Retro or J John East preamp. I forget the name. I know how it works, but I forget it's one of those two. And um, it looks good. It sounds good. I've been playing with it a few times. I've put this on a few bass grooves, uh, Sunday morning groove videos, and it just felt right. You know what I'm saying? I seen it up there. I was like, I need to do this video P10 time. So, um, but let me tell you the controls of this bad boy. So we have volume, we have blend, we have mid and mid frequency sweep. Then we have treble and bass, and then we have a tone. And uh, if you pull it up here, it goes into passive, uh, passive mode. So that's a good little ditty. Anything else, any other bells and whistles I'm missing? Oh, and a bright mode. Forgot that bright mode is on the treble that you can engage and I'm going to be engaging all that stuff. So uh, there's also a switch that uh, turns the bass completely off, uh, disconnects from the battery. So if you do forget and leave it plugged in, you can just go ahead and disconnect the whole thing. Great little ditty. Uh, he swapped in an all bridge bridge down here. Looks good, does wonders, has gold, the uh, brass saddles in there. I actually have something similar, but in black on my M2 that's over there on the wall. Does his job really well. And up top, he has hip shot tuners. And um, you can see some of the holes from where the old tuners used to be, but who cares? These hold tuned very well. And I think it was all around great choice. Here's the back of the base. Strength of the body option. Got the second generation plate rather than the uh, pull battery terminal. Regular four, uh, four bolt uh, neck pocket there. And then your controls that are housed inside here. Uh, and I think that's the long and short of it for all the bells and whistles and stuff that he added to this base. I think this base retails for around 15, uh, 1500 off of Sire's website or something close to. And I'm assuming with all these added, it's probably about $400, maybe five. Depends on what the preamp is. But I like it. It does the job. You can really just take this bass right now to any gig at all and do your thing and not really worry. So good on you, Lob. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to what this thing sound like. So I'm gonna start out and uh, everything is gonna be completely flat. And then we're gonna get into uh, each pickup. Then we're gonna go into the preamp and mess around a little bit and see where this thing goes. So this is completely flat between both pickups. Here we go. Thank you. 
I'm gonna have to snip that and make that a group. <laughs> okay, so let's go to uh, the front pickup, which is the P pickup up here. Let's see what we got. Um, to the back pickup. Now this is a regular jazz pickup, no hum canceling anything. So if I turn it up, you should hear a hum slightly. But this is what it sounds like. Not ready to slap yet. Not ready to slap yet. You gotta, you gotta slow pace that thing. You just can't rush through. You gotta get to know the bass before you get all nasty and stuff, you know? Yeah. So, um, let's move on to both pickups and let's try out this mid here. Uh, bass and treble is still in the center. Here we go. Let's take the mid all the way out of it, see what we got. Let's mess with this mid frequency sweep now. So here we go, I'm gonna roll it all the way to the front. Originally it was in the middle. Thereabouts, there's no detent to tell you where you're exactly in the center of the range. So I just kind of 100, zero, 50 type of deal. I don't know what that range is, but I was in the middle for whatever this range is. So this is rolled all the way to the front towards the neck pickup. Uh, here we go.
Okay, let's uh, roll it completely the opposite way. Make sure I grab the right one. Uh, roll it all the way back that way, and here we go. Okay, so let me do like a little sweeping thing to see what it's doing. I'm also gonna boost the mid back up so I can kind of mess around with it as I'm doing it. So here's all the way forward again. Okay, so I think I found the middle spot again. Kind of had to eh, get it there. And uh, let's go with this treble here. See what we got. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to bass and be careful. Uh, bass, I'm going to boost all the way up, maybe a little bit too much, so I'm going to come off the volume a little bit. Let's see. take bass all the way out oh god this tone that's on here make sure everything stays on stay on uh there's a tone knob that's on here and i think it's a master tone and i had it off this whole time so let's see what that does everything should be back in the center uh, i believe no that wasn't okay back in the center between both pickups volume up
pull this bright switch, see what that does. And I'm wondering if it's gonna work with the treble or not. So I'll mess with that too. super scoop this is gonna be glorious <laughs> Baskin Robin, prepare yourself. I'm talking to me, reporting to you. You get the idea. Okay, okay. Come down off the volume. Calm down. Mid, all the way down. Let's give the mid frequency sweep a little uh, dabble, if you will. Okay. Here we go. See that again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Granted, before I made the videos that I made with the P10, I didn't know about this doggone bright switch or that this master tone was a master tone. I thought it was just a passive thing. Dumb me, because this is a kill switch, so it has to be a master tone. Oh, lobster, you have a weapon here. <laughs> this is a weapon. This is. Yeah, dude, this is a good time. And also, I think he has Nordstrings in here now that I'm looking at it. Now that I'm looking at it. Sheesh. Sheesh, okay. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. So Lobster, a week from this video, you'll get it back. <laughs> I have. Yet, I've only begun to funk with this thing. So, I love you. You're gonna get it back, I promise. I promise you, you're gonna get it back. Just not this week. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's been a, my uh, review of Low End Lobster's P10. That he's suited and booted way better than I even imagined or realized up until now. And me talking to him about what the heck this thing can do. It's a weapon. It's worth the money to build at the end of the day you're probably going to be paying around the same price for like a fender uh 
the top of the line fender which is going to be around 21 anyway so you might as well get all good hardware and get all this knobs and make it perfect because yeah it's a good time and i didn't mean for this video to be this long but here we are you know what i'm saying anyway thank y'all for watching for as long as you did uh like subscribe if you like this type of content if you like this base or you have a comment on this base let me know in the comment section down below uh, I will have a link to Lauren Lobster's channel in my description. If you aren't following him, what are you doing? Because <laughs> he does the same thing I do, but he does it a little bit different. He has his own flair. He has his own style to it. And a uh, real good dude. Thank you, Lauren, for letting me uh, slap on this girl. And uh, yeah, I'm only halfway done. So thank you for letting me catch this. And thank y'all for watching. Till next time, I've been Alan Bryan, K. Blue the Kid. Y'all be easy.